The state rested its case today against Arvin Kangas in his tampering with physical evidence trial. Most of the testimony today continued to be concentrated on the recordings that allegedly caught it all on tape. Isolated audio recordings caught sounds consistent with the alleged tampering. Um, you can hear the slide coming forward in, in both audio and then you can hear a, a racking sound in both audios. Those recordings were running nearly 18 hours in total. After the shooting, both Nathaniel and Arvin Kangas can be heard leaving the scene for approximately 12 minutes and then... Uh, this, a person entering the residence, um, uh, walking around the residence and then approaching Sergeant Johnson. A demonstration showing the sounds was given by one of the investigators working the case. Sergeant Johnson's keys were hanging underneath him. So when the gun was placed underneath him, you hear the sound of the, the gun hitting the keys uh, when it's placed underneath him. Investigators testified today that the tape changed the entire course of the investigation. On scene, before we, we listened to the audio, and even afterwards, uh, we were confused with the position of the weapons. My first impression of the crime scene and seeing uh, the position of Sergeant Johnson, the position of his weapon, was that he'd been involved in a gunfight. It was clear from that three minute window that the scene had been altered and changed into something that it had not been before. It's now up to the defense to call its witnesses. On that list is Nathaniel Kangas, the man accused of shooting and killing the two troopers. It's unclear yet whether Arvin Kangas will testify on his own behalf. A hearing to decide whether or not Nathaniel Kangas will testify in the case will be held tomorrow morning. I'm Stephanie Woodard reporting from Nenana.